you this is about love and positivity and I want to start by thanking our returning subscribers we always tell you you are the reason we sit here each and every day to actually shoot this content and I want to appreciate those that are commenting and explaining to us in details about things to do with Jamaica we appreciate we are running a lot from you people and we really appreciate you to the new subscribers we salute you we thank you and to all the subscribers in this channel we pray for you every day that may the Lord bless you may the Lord enlighten you may the Lord protect you may the Lord shield you together with your family we don't take it for granted guys we appreciate a lot a lot a lot today I was just thinking seated somewhere and I thought why do the superpower countries give travel advisory to other nations in some places like Jamaica and I'm specifically talking about Jamaica because I have so many reasons to actually say Jamaica is very safe the first reason is that we have seen our own going to Jamaica, the ghettos of Jamaica, trenched out and going alone on the streets of Jamaica. And we have never seen any harassment, anything, and they have never actually complained. We have seen Coco Girl. Can you imagine Coco Girl goes loud, trenched down alone? And she goes greeting people. The only thing that we see on the streets of Trench Town and Kingston are jovial people, warm people, people who love singing, people who love uh, talking to the new, the strangers that come to their land. And actually we have seen that the people that have gone there and they are moving around the streets of Trench Town. We saw Dimwango the other day with uh, Gary. They were moving inside the ghetto. And we didn't see anything happening to them, Dimwango and Gary. When Dimwango was going to buy, uh, to do some shopping for Gary, they were actually going inside the trench town ghetto and nothing happened to them. Look at Coco Girl. Coco Girl actually moves on the streets of Jamaica and the only thing we see is her greeting people, people who are welcoming, people who are ready to talk to them, people who are talking to them, people who are ready to welcome, people who are ready to show them the way. We have never seen anything strange happening on the streets of Trench Town. Look at Shonarwa. Shonarwa was in Jamaica the other day. And she was actually moving on the streets of Trench Town, dancing, doing her, sin her shenanigans, and we never saw any danger posed to her or to those people I have just mentioned. Look at this guy called Tayo. Tayo is a Nigerian traveler who actually moves from one country to the other and we have seen him moving around the Caribbeans and specifically in Jamaica. He went to Montego Bay, he went to Kingston, he went to several parishes in Jamaica. We never saw, actually he went and visited the Rastafarian family. And I think the Rastafarian family lives in the bushes, inside the forest. They were actually moving inside the forest. We never saw any danger post to Tayo, who is actually a Nigerian. Look at Odmaya and Miss Trudy. Odmaya actually say, went to the most, uh, to, to the most, uh, to the what? To the towns that are claimed to be most dangerous. And we never saw anything happen to happening to Odmaya. Actually, we saw him dancing, having fun, uh, socializing, joining in the merry of Jamaicans who are so happy, who enjoy life. And we never saw any danger pushed on Odmaya. And therefore, we have seen several, so many visitors from Africa going to Jamaica, moving in those streets of Jamaica, moving in the streets of Trench Town, moving in the streets of Kingston, but we have not seen any danger. So I asked myself, why do they have to offer these travel adversaries and yet our African 
and people have gone there and you have not seen any danger. Do you know sometimes you can fear something even before you experience it because of what you hear from the media, the media houses, the way they say things, they even actually make you fear even before you go there. Look at the information they were spreading about Haiti. They were, I actually thought the whole Haiti was actually burning. It was in total destruction. But I was surprised when African Tigress reached Haiti and told us that it was only one town that had problems of war, Princeport. The other towns we have seen African Tigress moving from one department in Haiti to the other department and we have not seen any danger post or any danger that African Tigress has experienced apart from when he was uh, actually hit by a stone and I cannot, I didn't get to know how it happened. So sometimes I think before these travel adversaries are offered, it's good to completely investigate a country and know whether this is true or not. And therefore, I have come to a conclusion that Jamaica is a very safe place to go. Because I have not seen any danger. We have seen these girls moving all over Jamaica from one place to the other, from one beach to the other, from one waterfall to the other, from uh, one parish to the countryside to where, and we have not seen any danger post to them. And therefore, I was just asking myself, why, why, why? Why offer this travel adversary? Guys, that was my question today. Then let us go to the next item that I wanted to discuss today. I wanted to discuss about the great women of Jamaica. I've seen that Jamaicans, whether they are male or female, are very hospitality. Actually, when these girls who are moving around the streets of Jamaica, Dimwango, Sean Arwa, uh, Coco Girl, and even Odmaya and Miss Trudy, the people they were meeting around the streets are mostly men who are very warm, who are welcoming, who are very jovial, who like singing to the strangers. They actually sing and compose songs and have, they enjoy life to the maximum. And they are very, very jovial people. But I have seen a wonderful characteristic with the Jamaican women. Let us start by mentioning one of them. Esther Campbell. Esther Campbell is the woman who, was, who hosted Dimwango Sean Arwa in Trench Town. And I want to say, this woman, I really loved her characteristic. Very composed, very discreet, very humble, down to earth, very welcoming, very, she can sacrifice a lot. The reason why I'm saying this is because we saw when Coco Girl arrived in Trench Town and was taken by Kino to Esther's house. We saw the kind of bedroom Esther took Coco Girl, the type of bed that Coco Girl was to sleep on. We were, we were never shown where Esther was sleeping, but I'm sure Esther sacrificed her bed to be slept by Coco Girl, while her herself, her bed was not as good as uh, Coco Girl. And I saw a lot of sacrifice, a lot of warm welcome, a lot of good heart from Esther, a lot of patience, because let me tell you guys, it's not easy for visitors to come to your house and they are not just staying for one day or two days or three days, they are staying there for months because we see the Mongo almost spent, I think, a month there, if I'm not wrong. They are staying with them and they are not colliding with them. She can actually take and cope with all types of character. Remember that the girls that are going there all of us, we are different in character. All of us, we are different in behavior. All of us, we are different in the way we do things and the way we talk and the way we can uh, actually stay in the house. But Esther is so accommodating.
chief that she accommodated the Mwango and we never had the Mwango complaining. We never actually the Mwango praised Esther and said that Esther could sacrifice a lot to make her comfortable. She can go to any length to make the visitor comfortable, to make the visitor feel at home. And therefore, we really celebrate you, Esther, as we celebrate the great women of Jamaica. She also hosted uh, Shonawa. Imagine the Mwango and Shonawa were staying in Esther's house. The two girls who are staying in Esther's house, she used to accommodate them, do everything for them, and we have never had Esther complaining. Remember that Esther is a working woman, so she was working and leaving her house to these two ladies whom she does not know. She had just come to know of them when they arrived in Jamaica. She leave them the house and even the kid. Imagine. So she hosted the Mongo and Shonarwa, and Shonarwa stayed in Esther's place throughout her stay in Jamaica. This woman is on another level, and we really appreciate her. Guys, please let us appreciate Esther by just supporting her in her channel, by supporting what she's doing. I found her a very, very good woman. Then there was this lady where Coco Girl was staying before she went to Esther's place. I, I don't know whether the lady was called Marissa. Marissa hosted Coco Girl. And that is why I'm saying the women in Jamaica are great. They are very hospitality. They are very warm, welcoming. They are great women. So Coco Girl stayed in Marissa's house until she moved to go to Esther's house. We also saw this lady, I can't remember what was her name, who hosted the Mwango when the Mwango went to the countryside. She is actually the one who hosted the Mwango. She was actually showing us her farm and the goats in the farm and uh, a lot of, it was sort of unsought. I can't remember whether it was unsought or so. And this girl, is, this woman, is actually the one who had hosted the Mwango. So we have seen great women. And also remember that there was this lady who was moving with the Mwango from one place to the other. I can't remember her name. And they were even going for swimming together. They were going to the beach together. A very nice woman. Very great women in Jamaica. And also we cannot forget the women that these people were encounter, encountering in the estate. Like we saw the Mwango calling so many women, mom. They were ready to greet her. They were ready to do a lot of things with her. Not forgetting the African kitchen. I think she's called the word kitchen. This is the lady who hosted the Mwango when she first arrived in Jamaica. She actually accommodated her most of her stay in Jamaica during the first visit. She was staying in this woman's place. And I, we remember, I remember the Mwango shopped for her. When she went, I think the second time the Mwango went to Jamaica, she actually uh, shopped for her and took some things for her because she actually was a very good host to her. These women have done a great job to make our African ladies, African women, be comfortable in Jamaica, feel at home in Jamaica, have fun in Jamaica, see different places in Jamaica, and that is why they were able to bring to us content because they were comfortable, they, were, they felt at home. We really thank you, we really appreciate you, we really are happy about you guys. They were great women. And I have also said that the men in Jamaica were also great. We saw Kino taking the mango all out Jamaica. We have seen Shane taking the mango all out Jamaica. These people are great. They are actually very, very supportive to their African sisters and brothers. And we really appreciate that. We really are happy about that. We don't take it for granted, guys, the way you have hosted these people. We appreciate. And not to mention, the many women and men supporting us and they are ready to tell us about so many things about Jamaica. If I can mention but a few in my channel, the ones I have seen, we have seen I have seen a woman by the name Karin, I've seen a man by the name Jonathan, Corins, people who are great, who will support and actually explain to us in details about Jamaica.
Jamaica. We really appreciate you. We are happy about you. And we are thankful that you can do a lot, a lot, a lot for us. We appreciate that so much. And also, Sophia, there are several. I cannot be able to mention all of them. But guys, if you are supporting us, you are subscribing, you are commenting, you are writing our videos, we celebrate you. We are happy about you. We thank you. And the many, many, many supporters that are supporting the Mwango, are supporting Shonarwa, are supporting all those ladies, Coco Girl, all those ladies that have gone to Jamaica and the men that have gone to Jamaica, they have received a lot of support. We appreciate you. You are heroes. Because you are ready, ready to hold your sisters and your brothers' hands, you show them the way. We really appreciate you. And to end this video, I'm going to talk about Dimwango. Dimwango always keeps on telling us that she's a real. And I want us to look at why has Dimwango stood the test of time? Irrespective of the many haters, irrespective of the many criticism, irrespective of the many, so many things happening around her, she has stood and uh, passed the test of time. Because the Rios, the babies that are born in August, have uh, characteristics that make them to, st uh, to stand out in the public. Some of the characteristics, maybe I can, uh, first of all, before I read the characteristic, there are great men in this world that were actually born in August and that are Leos. One of them is Kobe, Kobe Bryant. This is the man who was actually, is it a, a basketball player? Exactly. She, he was a great basketball player. Look at uh, somebody like Michael, Michael Jackson. He was also a Rio. Barack Obama. He was also a Rio. Neil Armstrong. Usain Bolt, a Jamaican athlete. Wow. These Rios are great readers. <laughs> they are very hardworking. Exemplary hardworking. And we have seen it in Dimago. Very hardworking. And Usain Bolt, who is actually an athlete in Jamaica. We have seen it very well. They are very hardworking people. They are very independent. They like, uh, they can do well when they are bosses, CEOs. Because they don't like taking orders, <laughs> but they like giving orders. <laughs> this characteristic, some of them have come out in the Mwango. They don't like taking orders, but they love giving orders. Because we have seen it, the Mwango, actually will not allow someone to come and discourage her. She will not allow somebody to come and sit on her. <laughs> she will stand out and say, talk her mind. The other thing, they are very straightforward. They don't corner corner. They are very straightforward in what they are dealing with. They will tell you outright what is in their mind. They are not going to go corner corner. They will tell you right on your face what they think. The other thing about them, they are very adventurous. They can take their time and create time to be adventurous, to do exercise, to enjoy life. And by the way, they are very social beings. They are very social beings. And we have seen it in the Mwango. The other thing, they enjoy going to places. <laughs> that is our African Empress. They love traveling, moving from one place to the other, meeting new people, seeing new countries, new land, new way of life, new culture, new people, socializing, getting to, to know the culture of different countries, and also getting to know the people in different countries. Those are reals. <laughs> and they are also very, yeah, I have said that, very straightforward. Huh? By the way, the other thing, they don't give a damn what you say about them. <laughs> they don't give a damn what you talk about them. And we have seen it in the mobile. And that is the reason she has succeeded. She doesn't take heed to the haters. She doesn't listen to them. She doesn't bother about them. When she focuses on her goal, she has to achieve it. And that is a real. They focus on a goal and they have to achieve it. They are very good planners. 
They can plan their money, they can plan their life, they can plan everything they do. They are great people. Sometimes they can be very arrogant, as I was saying. But they are very good in a, in a, they are very good hearted, kind hearted, and we have seen it in Dimwango. Eh? We have seen it in Dimwango that she's very kind hearted. She will support people when she sees they are in problems. She will go a wrong way to actually, we have seen it actually going around the streets and find someone suffering. She will just offer to help that person. They are very kind hearted. Another thing, they love attention. <laughs> I don't know whether Dimago loves attention. You're going to comment in the comment section below. They love attention. The Rios love attention. And uh, obviously people who love attention, they actually do a great deal of work so that people can actually recognize them. That is the positive side of people who love attention. So that is all I have today. And you are seeing why Dimwango has stood the test of time. She has stood the test of time because she's a Rio and she keeps on telling us, I am a Rio. And you cannot discourage me. You cannot make me to have fear. You cannot instill fear in me because people are trying to tell her, be careful of traveling with men, doing what, what. And she was telling them, you cannot instill fear in me. I always attract good people. I have never met bad people on my journey, on my traveling journey. And we really appreciate that because God arranges a path for you and arranges people whom you're going to meet. Great people, great people. And good people. Like we have seen in Jamaica, she met with very great people. Akina Hester, uh, Kino, Shane, and other people that she has met with in Jamaica that are great people. And therefore, guys, today's video will add there. And I want to really appreciate you once again. Please, when you watch this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. Like the video, please, guys, because there are so many people who are watching us and uh, they are not liking the video. Please like the video and subscribe if you have not subscribed. We will appreciate a lot. God bless. See you the next time. Yeah.